Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Barthel. I'm the lead product scientist for Arbor Biosciences, supporting the cytogenomics applications and specifically the MyTags in situ hybridization probes. I appreciate you all taking the time to listen to our little presentation here, and I'm certain you're gonna find some things of interest, some you may already know, and some new things we have coming into the market for the MyTags product. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our presentation. So here we are, MyTags and C2 probes. We're gonna discuss applications and services offered by the Arbor Biosciences Company. So, my tags and C2 probes deliver easy visualization of genomic targets with high specificity and minimal background noise, allowing you to have a probe set and product to be able to drive your research in the direction you want to move in. A brief outline of the presentation. We're gonna ask and answer for you, what are my tags? We're gonna answer for you, why should I choose my tags hybridization probes? You're gonna ask, and we'll have the answer for you, what can I do with the MyTags probes? Another thing you wanna have an answer for, and we'll, we'll provide you with that, is how do I design my experiments? What does it take to get uh, set up to use MyTags? What format of MyTags do I need? There are many different options. Can you help me decide? I wanna use the MyTags hybridization probes. How do I go ahead and go through the design process to get my probes ready for uh, hybridization. I'm ordering the mortal probe sets. How do I go about labeling those probes? Can Arbor Biosciences label the immortal probe sets for me? We're going to go ahead and we'll answer this question. There's a new product for the MyTag structure. What is it? Help me, uh, help me uh, understand it. That new product, index sublibraries, how do they work? What does it take to uh, utilize them? And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and help answer the question as, how do I get my tags to use in my lab? So what are my tags? My tags are custom designed synthetic oligonucleotide probes. They're computer designed probes with high specificity and high hybridization specificity to your target. With that, you have absolute flexibility in choosing your targets. The MyTags comes in different formats. They come as a renewable immortal probe template library. They come as ready to use labeled in C2 hybridization probes. And we have offers of a wide choice of labels available. We also now have the possibility to index many smaller sublibraries. This is our new format. And we think you're gonna find it very useful and very uh, desirable to look into. Why should I choose my tags? The technology behind how we design the probe sets and our synthesis process gives us a competitive advantage over genomic clone-based probes, including back-derived probes. So here we'll compare and contrast. With the computer-based design of my tags, you're gonna get a design that's specific to your target and it'll have precise sequences for your target. With the genomic cloned probes or the back-derived probes, those probe sets can include non-specific or undesirable sequences, giving you off-target hybridization. With our computer design, each probe within the probe set is gonna have a standardized size, making it easier to work with within different uh, hybridization formats. With genomic cloned probes or back-derived probes, you may end up with a, a pot of probes that have a wide range of size, which may be uh, giving you some difficulty within your hybridization parameters. With the computer design of MyTag probes, you can avoid repetitive sequences that will contribute to background or off-target hybridization. With genomic cloned back-derived probes, those probes can contain a high number of um, repetitive sequences that are found throughout the genome, and you'll see these as off-target hybridization results. The computer design MyTag probes come with a standardized uh, melting temperature format GC content, and it'll optimize your hybridization properties and standardize it from experiment to experiment. With genomic clone or back-derived probes, you're restricted to the availability of the clone genomic region. Each one of those regions can have different 
hybridization properties. Why choose my tags with regards to the production or synthesis of probes? My tags are high quality uh, production probes of hundreds and thousands of unique oligos produced by a mass parallel synthesis. So the, the tube comes through, you have many high quality uh, unique oligos within that tube. With genomic cloned or back derived probes, you're limited to the clone sequence within the um, plasmid or the back. You may have unwanted targets within that sequence, or you may have your complete sequence divided between different clones or backs. With our production format, you're going to get a guaranteed minimum quantity delivered. With your genomic or back derived probes, yield can vary from day to day. Our production format will um, allow uh, multiple delivery formats based on your needs. You can get them in tubes, plates, whatever format uh, makes it easy for you to work within. The genomic cloned or back derived probes have lack of customization or uh, bats available. We have a very uh, highly regarded customer support team, both uh, within the synthesis and the um, hybridization uh, process of the product. So we're here to ensure success with your experiments with our MyCAD products. With the genomic clones or your back derived probes, you have to have the skills yourself and the funds to support the specific molecular technology to be able to utilize the probes within that format. What can I do with my tags? We can do a lot. This particular figure shows different formats of hybridization patterns or uh, hybridization uh, characteristics utilizing my tags. My tags can be utilized for local loci hybridization uh, application, especially powerful for chromosome indexing. What you'll see there is generally a very highly specific spot of hybridization along the nucleic acid or the chromosome within the, the sample. Chromosome painting, this is a very powerful technique used in, uh, in uh, genetic diversity analysis. With chromosome painting, what you have is a large swath of fluorescent color across the length of the chromosomal arms. In this particular image, what you have are many different colors of probe sets hybridizing to the different chromosome or painting the different chromosomes within the sample. Chromosome painting format can also be utilized in nucleic acid that's in different formats. These are metaphase chromosomes, and here you have packaging uh, morphology chromosomes, and you have two different uh, paint uh, technologies used to identify uh, localization of chromosomal uh, arms or chromosomal locations within the packaging chromosome. So there's a lot of flexibility and diversification as far as applications of my tags. Specifically within the research arena, what can I do with my tags? With this image, you have haplotyping used to detect um, specific chromosome painting in maize to monitor meiotic crossover events. This is analysis used in studying genetic diversity across species. In this particular image here, what we have is chromosome painting application to analyze translocations and chromosome rearrangements between species of duckweed, just studying different fusions and phylogeny uh, analysis within the species. Also within my tags, we can use 3D and 4D loci detection. This is allelic localization in the nucleus over time used in the analysis of genomic regulation regulation within the nucleus of the cell. You can also take it another level and do 3D analysis utilizing the paint technology of the MyTags. This is hybridization in interphase nucleus, different morphology of the nucleic acid within the interphase nucleus. This is in maize, and it's used to ana analyze the discrete domains occupied by the differentially labeled red and green chromosomes within the nucleus. This particular image is a very powerful image. It's a high order, it's studying high order chromosomal structure within the chromosome, high order structure within the chromosome using super resolution microscopy. The uh, researchers were able, with this level of imaging, analyze the helical arrangements in the chromosome. 
In this particular image, what we have is a demonstration of my tags used to detect actually RNA within cultured cells. So this demonstrates that the my tags probes can be utilized not only for genomic targets, but for both mRNA and genomic RNA targets. So you can see uh, mRNA expression in cells, or in this case, we're looking at genomic uh, viral replication and the genome is in, this, in an RNA format. So my tags can uh, also be used to hybridize RNA within the samples. All right, so I know what our, our my tags can do. How do I go ahead and design my experiment? The first thing that really helps is get a hold of us and we'll help you get the most out of your MyTags probe library. We'll, we'll ask about your objectives and your experimental uh, outcomes and we'll work with you to uh, come up with a, a product that will help you meet your experimental goals. If you're looking at whole chromosome painting, that can be achieved in a very economical way by our design team where they go ahead and they're gonna set up hybridization in very discrete banding, intervals of banding. So a 50 KB target with a 500 KB interval in between. What you end up having in the microscope is the view of a chromosome paint. You're not gonna be able to segregate the individual bands utilizing conventional microscopy. With this format, what you're gonna be able to do is paint a whole chromosome with about 20,000 MyTag probes, a very economical way uh, to be able to do chromosome painting without having to buy hundreds and thousands and thousands of probe sets. If you wanna go ahead and do chromosome indexing or identification, you can index at least eight chromosomes with only two different libraries or two different colors. With this, your um, two to three probe sets at about 20K, if you add another third color, you can double your number. So you go with, with two colors, we can guarantee you uh, eight chromosome identification, add a third color to that probe set, you end up with 16. If you go ahead and take a look at different sizes and morphologies of your chromosomes, you will also be able to elucidate even a higher resolution of indexing. So in the end, when you start to think about your experiment, you may not need as many probe sets as you think. So work with us and we'll, we'll go ahead and get you started and get you on the right track for your experiments. Okay, so I'm ready to go. We have an idea in mind how to do the experiment. What do I need? What product format do I need for my experiment? If you're only doing about 50 hybridization reactions, Go with our ready to use labeled probe sets. That's the most economical and quickest way to get to your experimental um, results. Okay, that's great, but I'm in, a, I'm in a rush, but I need to do 50 or more reactions in the future. All right, start with our ready to use labeled probes and you can get going right off the bat. If you use our immortal probe templates, they can be amplified indefinitely and you can label those probes for future experiments. I don't want to spend the time labeling the probes. Too much of a, of a hassle for me and I don't have the resources. Go with the ready to use labeled probes or you can go ahead and we now offer a labeling service where you can go ahead and reorder your probes and then with the cost of our labeling service, we can get you what you need for your experiments. All right, I have 50 or more reactions planned for a probe set. We're gonna have you go with the immortal probe template and then you're gonna label them as needed. What's very nice about this particular format is immortal meaning amplified over and over again so you have an endless supply. And then when you label as needed, you can label the probe sets with different colors, different fluorophores as the experiments demand. All right, that's great. Now I need several probe sets and the probe sets have a small number of probes. They're less 10,000 or less probes in each probe set. This is where our new product comes in. We have what we are calling our indexed immortal probe sublibrary templates. So this is the most economical and most ideal way to uh, acquire the MyTags probes when you have a small number of probes in your design and you have a large number of probe sets you need to do to order uh, answer your research questions. So not only will you get the immortal format, you can also within this uh, product setup, 
order already labeled or utilize our labeling service. Okay, I'm ready to go. Here's my format. This is what I need to order. How do I go ahead and uh, go about designing my probes needed for my experiments? With your order of MyTags probes with Arbor Biosciences comes a complementary design service. This includes a very comprehensive interaction with our highly skilled bioinformatics team. They will work with you one-on-one -on -one during the design process. It will be a very cooperative effort and all insurances will be made to design and get you the probes to work as needed for your experiment. Many individuals elect to do their own design, and that's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's software out there, Chorus 2, Paint Shop. If you go ahead and do your own design, you can submit that product, those sequences to us, and we can synthesize them for you. If I was to do the design service with Arbor, here's what the, the, the workflow looks like. What we're going to need from you is the target region. That can be as a genomic loci, give us a chromosome number, the, the base pairs, the, the region spanning that you are interested in hybridizing to. We can go in, take a look, and pull up the sequence that you're after, or you can provide us with a sequence. I need probes to this sequence. We can do, work with that also. But, but generally, the, the point is that we have a target region of base pairs that we're trying to hybridize to. The bioinformatics team will dump that sequence into their pipeline. The first step will come up with a pot of potential probes. There are about 45 base pairs in length that map across this region. Then there's a, a selection process that goes through the set of potential probes. What they're going to do is they're going to pull out probes with similar temperature ranges and or melting point temperatures. And they're going to pull out probes that have minimal cross-reactivity to the genome within the organism you're working with. Those probes are going to be the ones that are pulled out for production synthesis. And if you elect to go with the labeling service, they will be labeled. So the final result are going to be probes with high specificity for your target and optimal signal intensity for your imaging. So we make sure that the density of the probes across this target is sufficient for uh, optimal imaging with conventional fluorescent microscopy. All right, I got my, my tags in Mortal Library, and I want to go ahead and label them. How do I go about doing that? On our website, we have access to many uh, reference manuals and resources, including a manual for labeling the my tags in Mortal Libraries. So the probe templates, the templates are double-stranded DNA that come off the synthesis. They're compatible both with the uh, IVTRT labeling or PCR labeling protocols. So the IVTRT probe labeling, you're going to end up with single-stranded probes, uses one universal primer for your fluorescent tagging. You get a very high yield of about 15 micrograms of single-stranded DNA probes, and it takes about two days. It's a very efficient and very high yield uh, reaction. If you elect that you want to do the PCR probe labeling, okay, that's fine. That's an option. We don't recommend it because we get much better yield and much easier to work with uh, single-stranded DNA probes. But with the PCR probe labeling, you're going to get double-stranded probes that need to be denatured prior to hybridization. You're going to have a pair of universal primers that can be used to tag with your fluorescent tag or your half of color, choice of color. You're going to get significantly uh, lower reaction yield, but it is a fast protocol, taking about one day. Um, it's up to you, but we're going to recommend the, the standard um, IVTRT process for, for generating your um, label probes from the Immortal Library. All right. That's great, but can Arbor Biosciences label the probes for me? Absolutely, we can do it for you. It's a new service available. We're doing it now as a labeling service, not as a separate probe set. So we can do the labeling. Um, you have the option to tag your probes with fluorophores or haptins of choice. We have many of the standard fluorophores included. Most common are the Alexa 488, Addo 550 for red, 594 for the deeper red, 
And then the adult sits 47 for the far red. These are very common fluorophores for uh, microscopy and most everybody has these capabilities within their fluorescent microscopes to detect these particular fluorophores. If you elect, you can go with a non-fluorescent biotin or non-fluorescent digoxygenin, and these can be uh, utilized in secondary amplification and detection that can provide some signal amplification. You have the option of ordering your labeling service for your probe sets up to one year after your initial order. So it's not a one and done. You can uh, come back to us over and over again, and we can go ahead and label those probe sets for you. You've been talking about a new MyTags product format. Tell me about it. Okay, so what we have now available with the MyTags is what we are coining index sublibraries. So this is most cost effective when you're ordering two or more smaller probe sets. And when I say smaller, we're talking about 10,000 or less probe, uh, unique oligos in your probe set. It's produced as an immortal probe template. So that means it can be amplified over and over and over again. It'll last you forever. You have the option of ordering the label service that will be able to tag your um, probe sets with your floor for or Hapkin of choice, or you can just um, use the immortals and label it yourself. All right, so how does this format of index sublibraries work? Basically, the design process is unchanged. We go and we work through your um, experimental objectives, we work through the experimental uh, design, the bioinformatics team goes ahead and they're going to design your probe set. What's new is that we're adding an eight base pair indexing primer site to the probe sequence, and that is the sublibrary index uh, sequences. So that in this particular image is denoted by a red, green, and yellow. Don't confuse that with fluorescence. That is our index, uh, eight base pair index uh, primer site. So initially, the products are designed, they go into the design process, and then we synthesize them, and they come out as a single pool and they come out synthesized as a, a complete pool with all the different sublibraries within it. When you order this particular format, the service that is included with this order is the demultiplexing or pulling out the sublibraries by PCR. And then we follow that with our next generation sequencing quality control of each sublibrary. So that guarantees when you get your multiple subsets, that came out of this um, initial complete set of oligos, that each one of these tubes is gonna contain exactly the probe set that you are expected to see. It still retains the universal uh, primers on the ends for tagging your probes with your floor for a Hapkin of choice. Okay, that's great. I'm really excited about what you just showed me. So how do I go about getting these products? What we have here is if you are in Germany, Austria, or Switzerland, please contact your distributor BioCat. They are going to help you through the process of your um, experiment and work with us and get in contact with us as far as the design process. If you're in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Czech Republic, or the Slovak Republic, Tata will be your distributor to work with, and they will, again, guide you through the process of your um, product selection and put you through with us for your, your probe design set. If your country is not listed here, please contact us directly at Arbor Biosciences. Our contact information is on our website. You can see here, there's our email address. We'll be more than happy, happy to help you out, and if we do know, of anything else that can help make your experiment more successful, we'll certainly work with you directly. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me directly. Here's my email. You can also work through our GuyCell Arbor Biosciences website. If you go to the MyTags uh, Geno cytogenomics site, there's a lot of references and, and resources for you to look through to help you guide you through your product selection. Otherwise, directly uh, contact the company through info at Arbor, 
botguysell.com. We can go ahead and uh, work with you, put you in touch with the right individual to help you be successful and um, hopefully be able to get you on the right track with your in situ hybridization experiments. Okay, so with that, thank you everyone for taking your time to listen to uh, our little uh, discussion about the MyTags and C2 hybridization probe products. Please feel free to contact us. We look forward to working with you on helping you design your experiments, design your probe sets, and look forward to having you have a successful research uh, experience with our MyTags and C2 probes.